Hello everyone, my name is Amy and this is Ryan and we're from the education department here at the Kansas City Zoo. It's a little bit chilly today so I thought we'd come in and warm up at the Crocodile House. We're about to meet Jesse and Frank. They are siblings and they are slender snouted crocodiles. This particular crocodile species can be found in western and central Africa. It's a medium sized crocodile so they'll reach anywhere between 8 and 13 feet and can get anywhere between 200 and 700 pounds. Now they do have some differences than other crocodiles and of course it's all in the name. Their snout is one of those big differences. It's a lot more narrow and this is going to guide their food choices. So rather than taking down big mammals like antelope, like a Nile crocodile, they're going to concentrate on eating things like fish and crustaceans. Another difference is the rows of protective scales along their neck and back. Most crocodile species have about two, but this particular species has usually three or four rows. Now this doesn't mean they don't have similarities. They have very keen senses like other crocodiles. They can see and smell incredibly well. And they are, those eyes and the nose are positioned on top of their heads so they can await their prey, submerging their body underneath the water. Now they also have an underbelly that's kind of yellow, so it acts as something called counter shading. It's a camouflage. So if an animal is swimming underneath them, they're going to see that yellow belly and hopefully it will blend into a sunny sky. And it's a great way to make sure other animals don't see you. Now I mentioned that they concentrate on eating smaller types of food and we have an example of what the skull on one of those larger crocodiles looks like. I'm going to toss it over to Ryan who has examples with him. All right, so I have here with me right now a Nile crocodile skull. You can see it is much larger than our slender snouted crocodile skull. It's got a huge triangular shape with much larger teeth that kind of fit into sockets around each other. And that's because these crocodiles spend most of their life hunting much larger animals than our slender snouted crocodile. This is the one you've probably seen on TV ambushing antelope or zebra. They can get well over a thousand pounds and that lets them be able to sneak up on these animals in those shallow rivers and grab them from below and then drag them into the water. These big teeth are made to help hold on to those animals while they're trying to catch their food. So you can see uh, while a slender snout crocodile, like, like Amy mentioned before, eats fish, this crocodile made to eat a lot bigger animals, although because it's a large crocodile, it can kind of eat whatever it wants, including fish and other smaller animals. I have a couple other skulls over here with me as well. Now you can see the difference between a crocodile skull and an alligator skull. This is a skull from an American alligator. They're really common along the, so the southeastern US. And you can see that while our Nile crocodile has a large triangular shaped skull, our, our alligator has a more U-shaped snout in the front. But you can see it also has a lot of similarities to our Nile crocodile. Again, you see these large conical teeth that allow it to ambush prey that come near the water's edge. Uh, our alligators here in the, the Americas can feed on both fish, but also larger animals like raccoons, maybe even deer, uh, even turtles. They have really strong bite forces that allow them to puncture turtle shells. So like our, like our crocodile, alligators are often generalist apex predators in their environment. And finally here, I've got a skull that looks a lot like our slender snouted crocodiles. This is called a gavial. This is a kind of crocodilian that's found in uh, India in their water waterways. And like our slender snouted crocodile, it has a really long slender snout, even more slender. And uh, you can, if you look closely, you can see it has very small pointed teeth. And as just like our slender snouted crocodile, they use the, the, the they, uh, they attack uh, fish and other small animals that live in their environment. So they're not going after bigger prey because they're physically constrained by what they can actually fit down their throats and what they can grab. So I hope you've had a good day uh, hanging out with us here in the crocodile exhibit and hope you've learned a lot about some of the animals and the adaptations that they have. Uh, hope you spend a lot more time with us on our social media and we'll see you later.